So I'm going to run through the Jackson Crawford translation of Frim's poem. Thor was angry when he awoke and found his hammer had gone missing. He wrung his beard, he wrung his hair. The great Thor searched all around. And the first thing that he said was this. Listen to me, Loki, listen to this. Something never known before in Midgard or in Asgard has happened. Mjolnir has been stolen. Then they went to Freya's lovely home, and the first thing Loki said was this. Freya, would you lend me your feather suit to help us get Thor's hammer back? And Freya said, I would give it to you even if it were made of gold. I would loan it to you even if it were made of silver. Then Loki flew, wearing Freya's feather suit, its feathers whistled in the air, till he left Asgard and came within Jotunheim. There Frim sat on a mound, a king of giants. He was fastening golden chains on his dog's necks, and he was combing the manes of his horses. Frim said, What news from the gods? What news from the elves? Why have you come alone into Jotunheim, Loki? And Loki said, Bad news from the gods, bad news from the elves. Have you hidden the mighty Thor's hammer? Frim said, I have hidden the mighty Thor's hammer eight miles beneath the earth. No one will ever see that hammer again unless Freya is brought here as my bride. Then Loki flew, wearing Freya's feather suit, its feathers whistled in the air, till he left Jotunheim and came into Asgard. He met Thor in the centre of Asgard, and the first thing Thor said was this. Were your efforts rewarded on this journey? Stay in the air and tell me what news you have. Stories are often forgotten when the teller sits down, and lies are often told when people lie down. Loki said, My efforts were rewarded with this news. Frim, a king among giants, has your hammer. No one will ever find that hammer again unless Freya is brought to him for his bride. Then they went to find lovely Freya, and the first thing Thor said was this, Freya, put on a wedding dress. The two of us, man and woman, are going to Jotunheim. Freya was angry. She snorted so hard that the homes of the gods shook all around them. Her necklace, Brissingerman, trembled on her neck. They would call me a lewd, loose woman if I went with you to Jotunheim. Soon all the gods met for a conference. All the goddesses met for a conference, and the mighty gods spoke a long time about how they might get Thor's hammer back. Then Heimdall spoke the handsomest of gods, as one of the veneer he could see the future. Let's put a wedding dress on Thor. Let him wear Freya's necklace to Brisingeren. Let's hang keys from his belt. Let's drape a woman's dress down to his knees. Let's place jewels on his chest and wrap a pretty headdress around his head. Then Thor, the strong god, spoke. All the Aesir would call me a sissy if I let you put a wedding dress on me. Then Loki, son of Laufoy, spoke. Silence, Thor. No more of that talk. Unless you can get your hammer back, the giants will soon live in Asgard. So they put a wedding dress on Thor. 
They put the Brisingerman on his neck. They put a chain of jingling keys at his belt. They draped a woman's dress down to his knees. They placed jewels on his chest. They wrapped a pretty headdress around his head. Then Loki, son of Laufoy, said, Now I'll go as your serving woman. The two of us, man and woman, are going to Jotunheim. Then they took Thor's goats and made them pull the wagon. Mountains crumbled and the ground burst in flame as Odin's son drove into Jotunheim. Then Frim, king of giants, spoke. Stand up, giants. Spread hay on the seats. Bring Freya, daughter of Njord, lord of Noatun, closer to me as my bride. Here at my home, we giants have gold-horned cows and black oxen for our dinners. I have plenty of treasures, plenty of necklaces. The only thing I think I lack is Freya. Early in the evening, the giants gathered and ale was brought to all of them. All on his own, Thor ate a whole ox, ate salmon, all the delicacies reserved for the women, and drank three whole kegs of mead. Then Frim, king of giants, spoke. Who has ever seen a woman eat like this? I never saw a woman take bites that big, nor a girl who drinks so much mead. But Loki, Thor's clever bridesmaid, found words to answer the giant's suspicions. Freya could not eat at all for eight nights. That's just how eager she was to come here to Jotunheim. The giant lifted the veil, hoping for a kiss. But then he leapt back the full length of the hall. Why are Freya's eyes so fierce and grim? It seems to me that fire is burning in those eyes. But Loki, Thor's clever bridesmaid, found words to answer the giant's suspicions. Freya could not sleep for at all for eight nights. That's just how eager she was to come here to Jotunheim. Then the giant's poor sister came in. She thought she would claim the customary gift from the bride. Give me some of your golden rings if you want to win my love, my affection, a good welcome from me. Then Frim, king of giants, spoke. Bring in the hammer to bless the bride. Lay me on her on the bride's knees. May Var, goddess of wedding vows, bless us. Then Thor, that tough-minded fighter, laughed with a full heart gripping his hammer. First he killed Frim, king of giants. Then he crippled all the giant's kin. Then he killed the giant's old sister, the one who had asked him for the customary gift. She received a blow instead of money, a hammer to her head instead of golden rings. And this is the way Odin's son got his hammer back.